Most of them are partially incapacitated. They can't go back to what they were doing before. Uh, they've, some of them have had rehabilitation through work cover, and that's you know, it's pretty mixed. Some of them have just been left alone uh, altogether or just forgotten about or maybe ignored. I mean, there's, they fall into all sorts of categories. Um, but they're in the situation where they can't go back to what they were doing beforehand. Uh, they might have had no rehabilitation or poor rehabilitation and people can't find them another job or get somebody to take them on. And then they're being told that their, their payments are going to stop under you know, Section 35B notices, 130 week reviews and that sort of thing. And they're stuck with, they don't have a job, um, their payments are going to be stopped. Um, they haven't got any great prospects about going to find another job because they don't have a lot of skills or they've got the stigma of work, all, all that usual sort of stuff. Um, and they're really left with no alternative but to fight with work cover, with EML, and try and stay on payments because the alternative is Centrelink payments. I, I think that you could get down a, a fair bit of the so-called unfunded liability or well, let's not talk about the unfunded liability but let's say they've got a number of long-term claims however they sort them out. I think if you paid a lot of them two to four years of weekly payments which might cost you Sixty to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, something like that. You, you could probably spend a couple of hundred million dollars, get a whole lot of these long-term claimants, which is apparently where a big chunk of the unfunded liability is, uh, and bring that unfunded liability right down. I, I wouldn't mind betting you could probably spend, um, you know, two hundred million and get the unfunded liability down to somewhere in the order of five hundred million. Um, Maybe even less, but uh, work cover just they're not interested in doing it. Um, it doesn't make sense. And you know, people from what I can see, and this is a bit of pop psychology, they don't get better on the work cover system. In fact, in, in a lot of cases, they get worse. Um, they get caught up in the whole system, they get depressed, they get anxious, um, they just get sicker. In fact, I, I tell my clients that. If they can find a way to get off the work cover system, they should do it because in the long term they'll be they'll be better off. That's probably medical advice rather than legal, but anyway.